In this video of Express.js, we are going to implement the cookies. Whenever I talk about cookies, it is the one which will occupy some memory space on the client's machine, where on the secondary memory. As cookies are stored as a form of text file which stores all the user's action and state inside itself. For example, if you want some if you want to create some UI in which username and password needs to be taken and you want that next time if same user is coming I should not ask the same username and password so we used to get some checkboxes to store the username and password so that next time you will not be have you will not have to pass that value again similarly if you are visiting some products and next time when you are reopening your browser you may see like you are getting advertisements of all those particular products which you have seen recently. So all this has happened because of these cookies as it will be helpful in maintaining the state and tracking the user's action to serve them better by the next time. So to start the implementation of cookies here in the express first of all we will have to install the cookie parser module in our application so that we will be able to do some better operations using the same. So let's get started with the implementation and see how the cookie needs to be implemented. So in this implementation of cookies you can see like I have added the cookie parser reference right here so of course you will have to install it using npm command and right after this you can see in the middle where I have included this cookie parser so now by the time we'll start making the request from this application the cookie parser will be activated and as you can see here when we will make a get request for the root directory we are writing a cookie using response.cookie and here the name of the cookie is my cookie so whenever in the reference whether you want to modify the data or remove it you will have to use the same name and this is the value here like tutorials point video tutorials this is what I'll be writing on a cookie and I'll send a message hi there to the user and similarly if I want to remove this cookie I'll make a request to slash remove path and it will remove that particular cookie from the hard disk as we discussed like it will be stored somewhere in the hard drive depends on a particular browser so let's see the output now and as you can see server is already running let's open a browser to make a request as you can see in the Google Chrome I have removed all the cookies that's why when I'll execute this program I will only get one cookie so it will not bring any confusion as hi there is the message which I got here and uh, let's close this and reopen this one you see one cookie is there from the local host when I'll click it you can see the same name which we have created the my cookie and when I'll click it tutorials point video tutorials that is what we have written in this cookie and similarly you can see the creation time and expiration time since I have not applied any expiry date and, and time so it will behave like a session cookie that means as soon as I will close this browser the session is ended and the cookie will be removed if you want to put some expiration time you can set the expires property where you can set the maximum age of a cookie in milliseconds.